looking, Laura? How's it looking? Much milder and cloudier and wetter this week. But let me tell you, some really amazing pictures came in over the weekend. Blown by the wind, not too strong, not too gentle. And it rolled it all the way across the field, just making bigger and bigger snow. They can be as big as cars. They were all over his fields. But now, with the weather milder, they're set to melt away. So it is back to our other face of winter as we head through this week, milder, cloudy and wetter. But last week I was sad to miss out on the snow on Friday. Some places saw nearly 20 centimetres in Hampshire. And what a difference it makes in just a few days with our temperature. Three... Morning to you. We have a very different week of weather ahead. Just take a look at the temperatures from Friday to Monday. A big climb. Some places didn't get above freezing over the weekend with that lying snow. But the outlook is much milder. The week ahead, much milder. We do still have some nighttime frost, but the outlook is for rain rather than snow. Now, rain this morning through southeastern areas soon clears away. But behind it, sunnier skies follow with some scattered showers. Welcome back to Good Morning Britain and we have a very different week of weather ahead. We leave behind the cold, snowy weather that we saw on Friday over the weekend and today for much of this week, temperatures are much higher and the outlook is for cloudier skies, some rain at times, there's some stronger winds, but it won't be as cold. That is the big story and there won't be some snow. There has been some snow showers though overnight for Scotland and, and, and also some icy conditions with sub-zero temperatures and a wet start this morning for East Anglia in the southeast, but the the rain here will soon clear away and then actually a pretty good looking day. Some decent spells of sunshine, the winds generally light, 10, 11 degrees across the southwest. Still cold in the north though where we still have a few wintry showers. Now there is the chance with some clear skies, a colder night tonight with a touch of frost for tomorrow but the outlook is for the Atlantic to roll back in so milder conditions, cloudier skies. But the outlook is for higher temperatures than we saw last week. No snow, but at least some sunshine. A very good morning to you. I returned from Austria where I was on Friday. I was looking at the effects of climate change. I'll be bringing you more on that later this year. But it's in mountainous regions like this where the weather is warming quicker than anywhere else on Earth and it's the most visible indicators of climate change. That I met a guy who started working in 2011. He put a mark where the glacier ended and it's now 10 metres higher. And an expert told me if we continue to warm like we are now, there will be no glaciers left in the Alps by 2100. So just 80 years' time. It's absolutely shocking. But but while I was there, we saw heavy snowfall, avalanche risk. There's still a big low pressure bringing heavy snow here and making its way up through the um, towards Venice. There's still the risk of widespread flooding. But closer to home, much more settled outlook. Plenty of sunshine around, but it is a bitterly cold and frosty start. So temperatures have tumbled way below freezing. The coldest night of the season so far for Northern Ireland, minus seven degrees across Highland areas of Scotland. But plenty of sunshine takes us through the day, but it will feel cold in the wind. That's it. For me for now. It is now time for the news, travel and weather where you are. Six. First, so let's talk about the weather. Morning, Laura. Good morning. I was hoping it's going to get better, but there's a storm on the way and not just any old storm either. Storm Brendan, yes. Named over the weekend, now approaching the Republic of Ireland and it is set to bring some very windy weather across the UK through the next 24 hours. Multiple weather warnings in force as we see storm force winds and heavy rain sweeping across the country. So for today, the warnings valid from lunchtime across these lion's share western areas through these Irish sea coasts. And once it clears away, more stormy weather into tomorrow with more warnings from the Met Office. So today, not just very wet, very windy, but don't be fooled because it starts this morning bright and breezy, but the rain knocking on the door and the wind starting to strengthen. 30, 40 mile an hour gusts right now, but they really pick up as the rain arrives from around about lunchtime. So through these Irish sea coasts, expect winds to strengthen to 50, 60 mile an hour gusts of winds. Heavy rain will spread across the country and it's along this back edge we really see those winds intensifying as the heavy rain arrives. As this rain moves through overnight, it turns clearer and drier from the west, but stronger winds again tomorrow. Good morning to you. Weather-wise, we have a very stormy week of weather ahead. 
This is Storm Brendan, named over the weekend by the Irish Met Office. We're going to see that bringing storm force winds across the country. Now, the outlook is for the next seven days for us to see much more in the way of extreme wet and windy weather. And this is our new seven day outlook to give you an idea of the weather for the week ahead, where your weekend's always in view. This line here is your average. And you can see temperature wise, it's above average for much of Scotland, Northern Ireland, and Northern England. And let's look at our rainfall trace, the days you are most likely to see rainfall. We start on a very wet note a big plunge on Wednesday looking dry but then rain returns for Thursday but how about for England and Wales well we can see a big divide from the start to the end of the week we start with mild weather and it ends cold but the rainfall I think is the most interesting because a very high chance of rain through Monday and Tuesday a big drop and we end our week thankfully on a dry fine note if not much colder for many of us